Hello, you incredibly awesome sauce, beautiful miracle. Thank you for clicking on this video and wondering, what do I paint? What does it mean? <laughs> uh, let's see if I can break some of that down for you. What I paint is paradigms. I paint the mental construct. Well, what does that mean? If you were to look at the mental construct, your paradigm, as most people do, like a computer system, right? You can access different files or different memories, and when you're accessing those different files or memories, it gives you an image on the screen or whatever, gives you certain feelings, right? So your paradigm or your mental construct is a lifetime of, ex of experiences that you've had, that you have then had emotions attached to those experiences and then made decisions based on those experiences tied to those emotions. And over and over and over these things interact and become overall your paradigm. So how do I, how do you paint that, right? So to me, if you look at it like a computer system and you can access a file, so let's say this for example, is a file of a memory that I'm going to think about and I'm having when my daughter went through the hip dysplasia and we were going and I, and I was ex I was just d tired I was overwhelmed it's this piece represents mental exhaustion to me so it's like taking a snapshot of that paradigm every splat is a type of an experience, every color is an emotion you tie to it, and if you can imagine the depth and the texture, right, pits, ups, downs, that would be the decision that you made, whether it be um, in the fear realm or the love realm, depending on where within that spectrum, right, that it falls, and they all fall all in and out different ways. Every single file or memory that you have can be a completely different looking, um, environment or file system because you had different feelings and those feelings were based on multiple decisions throughout the course of your life so how do you paint that so to me this is like taking a snapshot of that because imagine it, it engulfs you here's another way that i that i view it and i look at it if i were to say do you picture the human aura right you think of okay a blue a red a what a, a nice green whatever the the color is but it's a, a color and you think of it as around you now picture your mental construct or your paradigm in a moment that you're having similar to the aura but with multiple different aspects to it color shapes textures um that would be your paradigm remember every for example here every splat is an experiment, uh, sorry, an experiment, experiments, <laughs> an experience, um, or a form of an experience within the larger experience. Every color is an emotion that you had within that. And then the shape and the texture, if you can imagine, this is just a still shot photo, right? So if you can imagine the depth and the texture, again, that, that would be the decision that you you made and that's multiple decisions through for anything so if you were to picture the human aura this to me the sculptures represent the, this piece of wood this is actually a piece of cedar um, when you count the rings there's like well over 50 so I think that means it, it grew for over 50 years approximately sat on um, as a fence on on my property for uh, I think it was like close to 50 years so this thing itself is like 80 plus years old 100 years old um, but anyway, if you could picture the piece of wood being man or woman or the human form, and this is that person's mental construct in that moment. That's their belief system in that moment. And then maybe they're having a more joyful time and they're with their family and their kids and they're on vacation, they're having fun. Well, that same person can have a different, full on different shape because they're in a different mental construct, a different vibration all of which is still part of the greater paradigm. Um, so if you can understand that, I paint paradigms. Um, then, so my process that I go through is I paint many layers and then I sand through them. That process is similar to the process of self-development and self-improvement, right? I take a painting and I turn it into a sculpture. 
Because with a sculpture, you're you're taking away something from it from the the main form to create something new, right? To give some. Well, that's basically what I do when I sand through this. This one is unsanded. This one is the same color scheme without the gold and the silver, similar sanded, right? So it's like a process of, of self improvement as well. Which when you start to learn, understand paradigms, you go within and you want to learn about self. It's exactly what you're doing. That is part of my entire process and and what I paint. Uh, so what do I paint? Well, I paint paradigms. I paint your mental construct. Um, I hope this is helpful to get you know let allow you guys kind of inside my mind and have you understand what it is that I paint rather than just look at it and go looks like you threw some paint on a, on a canvas. You know, there's there's a purpose to this. These paintings are part of a series of 12 paintings that took me uh, over six years to, to create. And I'm giving the paintings and the rights to those paintings to charity. Uh, I started these sculptures, all of them, uh, January 2017. I actually got the Facebook reminder today um, about these sculptures when I started them, which is crazy. So my work is a, is a long process. Uh, what do I paint? I paint the mental paradigm, your mental construct which is it takes a lifetime to create. You guys are awesome sauce. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos, wondering what goes on with me, what do I do? Um, you guys are amazing. You're beautiful miracles. You deserve to know that. You deserve to feel it. The odds of you becoming a human being are beyond staggering as it is. You won the lottery. You beyond won the lottery. So love yourself because you deserve it. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, please, if you haven't yet, click DSTAR, uh, the link to DSTAR Images and Design. Click follow. As many, as much followers as, as we can get raises to the awareness and what we're doing and moves everything along to the point that we get the book published and it starts to then make money for charity and for other people. That's, what, that's the whole goal and what we're trying to do. It's the whole reason I paint. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for your support.